curious day in the morning. That is quick. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Eclectic Beard with Riders of Spice of Life, and hopefully you can find some of that spice here. This go around, be looking at the Mugen, Shinden, Roku, and Hachi models, and basically we're just be looking at some video of them. They're electric um, motorcycles that are run for the uh, the Isle of Man TT course, TT zero courses, or the, the tourist trophy. Now, these are the specs that I know of that I could find, and, and when I say that, they come from Mugen themselves. Uh, 2125 mil millimeters long, 680 wide, 1130 high, which translate to 83 inches long, 26 wide, 44 high. Now the ground clearance is 130 millimeters, which that's 5.11 uh, inches of ground clearance. All right, so it's got an oil cooled three phase brushless motor, 370 volt output. Lithium ion batteries, um, 160.9 horsepower, 154.9 foot pounds of torque, and 546.7 pounds. So, be looking at pretty much most of this week because now I've got something I've just I'm fascinated by. Uh, Isle of Man races, probably some MotoGP stuff between. Uh, how fast they go, videos on how fast they go, probably some crash compilations, as well as some electric uh, motorcycles, um, like the Zero FRS and things of that nature. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this, see, how, see what it looks like. I don't This looks like it's on a test track, probably in Japan. He's uh now I know from what I've seen from what I've read the 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 TT course is the 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 Isle of Man uh course is thirty three miles long and they normally run with for the uh internal combustion engine uh motorcycles it's like six laps so that's a total of like two hundred and thirty something miles that they run. So it's maybe it's seven laps, but it's like 233 miles that they actually run these bikes. So for seven laps, they've got pit stops and everything in between. So these only run once. They only run one lap. See, this is just a test course. So real quick, taking me find a, a different video. And here we go. This is the Roku. Oh yeah, he's booking it. That is absolutely flying. This is this is from the Shinden, uh, the, the Mugen Shinden. Uh, this is the from their website or their YouTube page. <laughs> I 
I was booking it. All right, so we'll mute that and just cause the music. Unveiling of the Roku Team Mujin's Machine. 2017 Alamis. This is from 2017. The uh, Hachi, which stands for 8. That's the one from 2019, but the specs haven't changed on it. So, Real quick, we'll take a look at who the writers are. So apparently, from the research I've done, he's won quite a few races. はい、知る人ぞ知る。これ名物ライダーですね。そうですね。あのもう1名はえっとマントTTレースで一番まあ人気があると言ってもいいと思います。えっとガイマーティンさんですね。フェラ、フェラ、I I'm still digging into this because, like I said, I'm fascinated by it. But, you know, just from the experience these two have, uh, they're definitely they're not too shabby. Right, here we go. See it up close and personal. It's a nice looking bike. And real quick, we'll look at some uh, race footage. This is uh, John McGinnis. This is 2019 TT0 uh, run that he did. Take a look real quick. And this is just, I guess, highlights of it. Gracious day in the morning. That is quick. That's just how I'm tailing it through there, man. That is absolutely, that's crazy how fast they're going. My understanding is, like I said, the electric rate, the electric bikes would do one lap. So, and uh, I was told they spend millions, like four or five million dollars a year, just on the research and development of every year's model. You know, every new iteration of the spike. So. Oh, that's the most Alright, and there we have it, the Mugen Shinden. We looked at specs, and it's Roku and Hachi. Um, the first video was the Roku. This would be the Hachi, it was last year's model, the, the, the 8, essentially. Um, I, I find it pretty cool that they're taking and they're using the an electric application for one of these high-speed races like this, because they've taken 
the internal combustion engine uh, motorcycles get 200 miles an hour. They'll take and go around curves at 140, 150, up to 170 miles an hour sometimes. Absolutely insanity. Just crazy. And the layout of this track, man, there's some of these, some of these curves. I don't see how these fellows do it. But look out for more uh, electric motorcycles, more Isle of Man TT race uh, stuff to uh, come on the channel. Um, also, finally, the, the Monroe Breakdown. I will take and finish that uh, in the next couple weeks. Probably a, a video a week at a time from it. Um, so, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, and notification bell. Y'all have a lovely one. Peace.